No A&W, no McDonald's, no Burger King. Nothing can replace that feeling when you step off that treadmill or you get off that bench press or whatever it is that you're doing. No feeling can replace that sense of satisfaction and accomplishment that you get right after you step off that piece of equipment and you just, you put your head down on the pillow at night and you're just proud and you have a sense of accomplishment for what you did for the day. What's up guys and welcome to the video. Something I want to talk about in this video is just something that I've been dealing with for quite a while, I'd say about a year, maybe two, is a nagging shoulder injury that I always felt like was a little kind of a minor tear possibly in my rotator cuff. It only happens in certain positions uh, when I'm doing bench press and any, any barbell related work it seems to hurt a lot more than dumbbells or, or other weights. So. I'm in the process now of going to see a physiotherapist to get it checked out and uh, that's what you guys are going to come for along check it out. Uh, yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. Both are just the um, I can take yeah, both. both. Yeah, yeah, I can take both. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. If it's easier. Yeah. That's good. Okay guys, so like I said at the beginning of the video, I have been getting physiotherapy done a couple of times a week for the past couple of weeks for my left shoulder. There is a deep pain inside of my shoulder and it is starting to affect me doing bench press and doing chest movements and shoulder movements. So I wanted to get it looked at by a professional just to make sure that there's nothing seriously wrong. Um, unfortunately, he did diagnose me with having some tendonitis in my shoulder due to overlifting and just overuse and repetitive use of the shoulder. So I'm hoping that we can make some progress and get it feeling back to 100% again. Just a little bit on the like outside right? here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now cross on here like okay. this. Same thing, just a little bit on the outside. Right? Okay. okay, not the regular problem. No. It's like a spark that's breaking out. Can't make a stop. Can't turn back. You know that there's no room for death. No, we can't turn back now. All right guys, in this video, I'm showing you what a typical push day would look like for me. So I typically do chest, triceps, and shoulders, but for the past couple of weeks, really since I started doing physiotherapy, I have been actually avoiding doing any shoulders just to give it the best chance to heal up. In this video, I started with the flat bench press for my push day. Off camera, I did do some rotator cuff and shoulder exercises, which were recommended by the physiotherapist, just to get some blood flowing and pumping into that area of the shoulder, just to minimize any you know potential risks of further injuring it, and just making sure that it's warm and good to go, which is something I should always be doing, and I definitely will be doing more often now. Uh, but anyway, I did start with the flat bench, as you can see in the video. I started up warming up with just the bar, and then I moved up to uh, some weights incrementally just to make sure that I'm not you know over stressing the tendons and then eventually my working sets were 45s and 25s on each side adding up to 175 pounds and I did that for four sets and 8 to 12 reps per set. Then moved on to incline dumbbell chest press and I started off warming up with just 25s and I did 60 pounds for my working set for four sets and 8 to 12 reps. That's generally the range that I like to do 
and I try to always do four sets for every exercise that I do just to make sure that I'm really hitting that muscle as much as possible this volume really does uh, equal growth volume and progressive overload you definitely need both in order to grow your muscles and just get a good physique especially the chest that is a bigger muscle that requires a lot of progressive overload over time and a lot of volume and hitting it from different angles which is why we started with the flat bench press and then we're doing this different movement on an incline to get the upper chest and then we'll be doing some pec flies shortly that you'll see that will hit it from another angle you say you wanna cry, but you never do Sugar, there's a reason why we lose So like I said, here are the dumbbell pec chest flies and you can do this with the machine, with the cables or I like to do it old school sometimes like this in the video here just doing it with some dumbbells on a flat bench You can do these inclined as well if you want to hit more of the upper and inner chest but I am dealing with that shoulder injury and things that are typically on an incline and that are causing my shoulder to rotate a lot do hurt so doing it on the flat bench was just more comfortable this time but if I have a preference and no injury then I will probably always go with the incline uh, pec flies just because they, they feel amazing for your upper chest. Don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run. So, moving on to triceps, we are starting with the incline close grip bench press, and these are by far and away the best exercise for growing your triceps in my opinion and don't just take my word for it there's plenty of youtubers and influencers and just experts online that you'll find that love absolutely stand by and profess the fact that these are one of the key movements for growing your triceps and just getting them some mass put on your triceps and just getting them to that next level um, and it also can really help increase your bench press as well guys if you guys are struggling with your bench press like regular for chest like flat or incline start incorporating these movements uh, this incline close grip bench for your triceps and you will see your bench press go up almost immediately from my experience you know they're they just are fantastic for activating the tricep and the tricep is a key component in bench press you know your front delts your chest and your triceps are really the muscles doing most of the work in a bench press. The second movement we're going to be doing for triceps in this video are just your standard tricep push downs with a bar and I am going pretty heavy on these. I'm doing about 125 pounds on the stack and I am doing four sets as usual and I think I'm getting about 15 to 20 reps in this video. Um, they all have a like a sort of titles down below that shows exactly how much I'm getting in each of these uh, movements just so you guys can get an idea of sort of what I'm doing at what weight at the moment. Final exercise we're going to be doing today in this video are rope extensions. So very similar to the last exercise but we are using the ropes and we're flaring out at the bottom of the movement just to really hit that outside head of the tricep and just really finish them off and get that last burn. And you guys already know I did have to end the session with my 200 calorie cardio session, low impact cardio. I do this four times a week, so on this push day, it just so happened that I needed to get my session in and I wasn't gonna miss it. All right, I just finished cardio. Just getting off the treadmill now. And guys, there's something I have to say. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys for a second because when I was on the treadmill, and I was struggling with the last 50 calories, last like 10 minutes of that session. It just kept coming into my mind, coming into my mind to just say something and just, you know, just give you guys some inspiration and just, you know, give myself some inspiration, if anything. That feeling that you have, that little, you know, voice in the back of your head that says, don't go to the gym today or don't do that cardio session today. You know, you've done enough already. Don't, 
don't feel the need to go that extra mile because you're gonna burn yourself out. That can be true sometimes. If you overwork yourself, that's definitely possible. But I'm telling you, when you fight that voice and you get that extra 50 calories in or you, you, li you lift those extra weights that you maybe you know, were doubting you could do, when you do that, that feeling of accomplishment is just insane. Like there's nothing that can replace that. No, no a and no McDonald's, no Burger King. Nothing can replace that feeling when you step off that treadmill or you get off that bench press or whatever it is that you're doing. No feeling can replace that sense of satisfaction and accomplishment that you get right after you step off that piece of equipment and you just, you put your head down on the pillow at night and you're just proud and you have a sense of accomplishment for what you did for the day. That little win or big win, you know, reaching your milestone for weight loss, whatever it is, whatever win you achieve through fitness far outweighs that momentary uh, guilty pleasure of fast food. And you know, it's okay to have fast food like maybe once a week or once a month, but I know that feeling because I've been there. I've been that guy that's had to have the fast food for that, you know, just driving by the a &W or whatever it is. I've been that guy where I just like, I have to stop. I have to stop and get it. Like, I just need it. It'll just make me feel better. Or this will be the last time or whatever bullshit excuse. This is so much better than that. And I hope that you guys can find some inspiration through this talk or through these videos that I'm making, or that you guys can find inspiration through Facebook groups. There's so many good ones that I'm a part of, and I've made so many connections with some of you guys. And, um, you know, I, I just really hope that you can find inspiration through this because I truly feel myself becoming a different person through this and a better person. You know, my sense of discipline, inspiration in life, and just so many things have gone through the roof since I've started this journey. And I've been on this journey technically for like eight years. I've been lifting weights and wanting to lose weight. And, but this isn't by no means the start of my journey, but this is the point of my journey where I feel like I'm truly making a difference, where I'm truly on that next level, where I can separate food as an emotional need and I can I don't look at it as an emotional thing anymore like it's completely out of my mind I never crave it anymore and that's not because I'm like special or because I did something crazy it's literally just because of commitment discipline and a, a choice to be healthier I chose that when I turn 25 I'm no longer gonna live the way that I did I, I just feel like I completely wasted my youth but that that voice also I can't let that become like a sense to not work out or to not come here and put work in just because I'm not as young as I was before or whatever excuses that my mind is trying to make you know I'm still young we're all still young enough to go on a treadmill to to take a walk around around the block like don't let any voice in your head tell you you can't do something or that you can't put in the effort and the work because you can I know you can because I can and I'm nothing special so if I can do this you can do this anyone can do this and I promise that those battles that you have with food or those battles that you have with weight loss, they will become so much easier once you pass that first month of working out, that first, you learn that first month of discipline of going, you know, for whatever your program or your schedule is. Once you pass that month threshold, it becomes so much better. I'm not gonna say easier because it is still difficult. There are still days where you're not gonna wanna go. There's days where you're gonna wanna quit and you're gonna wanna give up, but it just becomes so much better that you enjoy the experience so much more and and it, it's it's just a completely different thing and i hope that someday you guys can experience that or that you are experiencing it right now and if i can give you any sense of inspiration it's just that just take that next step put your foot in the door and just get started with the program and just commit to it for at least a month and i guarantee you'll see results one and two you'll be so much better for it So guys, that's gonna wrap up our push day. Um, I normally do uh, shoulders on push day as well, but because I'm you know, dealing with a left shoulder injury, I've been advised by my physiotherapist to just stay off of shoulders for now, for the next three weeks at least, just while we're trying to get it healed up and get it recovered. And uh, yeah, 
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would really mean a lot just to get the, the word out there and just, you know, build a community of like-minded people that are trying to lose weight, build muscle at the same time, look for inspiration, motivation. I really enjoy making the videos. I love spending the time filming and just the creative process behind it all. And, uh, you know, it, your support means a lot to me. And if you guys, you know, could share the video, comment, feedback, criticism, whatever it is, um, I just want to get some feedback from you guys and just learn how to make these videos better and provide more information or inspiration that, you know, you guys are looking for. So thanks again and peace. Thank you.